first off, uh, will you have Franz back tonight? Uh, he's going to go through a shooting slot, see exactly how he goes, uh, and then uh, that will determine it by the game time. With, with Franz, obviously, you know, so much, you know, could be said for, for what he does. But when, when you look at it as a head coach, uh, you know, for you, what are the most valuable aspects that, that he brings to the table? All of the little things. Uh, I think he does those, you know, knowing when to cut, where to cut, you know, the right pass, the right play. Uh, defensively, he's turned it up so much, uh, you know, what he, from growing from last year, uh, taking on different defensive assignments and challenges. Uh, but there's so many little things that he does um, on a day-to-day -day basis as well with this group that, you know, stands out. In terms of who's been available for both of these teams, it's been different the first two matchups and then entering today as well. Just what, what can you take away from the first two matchups? Obviously, one was more recent than the other, but how, how do you look at that and evaluate heading into today's game? Well, obviously, both being, you know, early on close games, and then they, they, they got going in that first game that we played them. Uh, but that second game being a close matchup, just the little things you can take away of this is their tendencies, the way in which they play, what they do, what they do, what they like to go to down the stretch, and, you know, the consistent style of play and how, and how they play. What's up, Coach? Um, how are you doing? I'm good, good. You? Good. As, um, as a coach, how do you prepare yourself to um, uh, battle against a, such an experienced coach like uh, Spolstra, um, you know, with, with all of his years and knowledge? How do you, what's, what's kind of your mental preparation for that? Well, just being around Spo for you know so much time, he is such a fantastic coach um, in his preparation and the way he goes about things, the way he communicates with his players, how he has them ready to go each and every single night. So, it's just you take those things that watch him do, and you you know take some of those for myself. Um, getting our guys prepared for every situation, every scenario, the things we walk through, understanding how they're going to play, uh, and that's what it's more about. It's like, are we having our guys prepared for the style of play that we're about to see? Uh, getting Franz, you know, potentially getting Franz back tonight. The injury injury report is is much thinner than it's been been in, in a little while. H how do you kind of prepare for having the full complement back? I, I know you're going to get some practice time later this yeah. week, but but how do you start kind of preparing and, and gearing up the ro gearing up the roster, the rotations to have those guys back? A lot of film, a lot of communication, um, guys understanding, knowing what they've done in their time that they had played, and guys that have not played. Uh, and you got it's really going to be trial in game. Uh, that it's them being able to have a feel for one another as they're out on the court, uh, different lineups, different combinations. But that's the, the great part about this group is that we've done it since training camp, that we had different lineups, we had different combinations, learning, playing together. And when it comes down to that, it's more about concepts and how we play than it is you know, running the actual play. Considering you guys have a game tomorrow as well, how much does that affect your rotations tonight, specifically with guys that have been limited lately like Wendell, Markel? We'll just constantly see how they respond to, uh, during the game. I think that's the most important piece. <coughs> Anything else? Uh, uh, knowing that, that Franz is still still a question mark, do you, do you have an idea of how you want to start start the game? Is, is it, are you leaning toward this, the same kind of same kind of group, or it, or, or what, how you think how you think they're starting? Just knowing that Franz is still yeah. a question mark. I'm I, like I have a couple different scenarios in my mind, uh, and if he's able to go, we'll have one scenario. If he's not, we'll look at a different scenario. But it's it's part of that as as you go through it. Thank you, Thank you guys.